Hello, welcome to Beth Roars, where we look at your favourite singers to find out what makes them them. Before we start, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. My handle is at Beth Roars and I have loads of votes on my Instagram so you guys can vote on who I react to. I also do Q&As on my Twitter. Also, please do check out my website, bethroars.com, where you can book a singing lesson from me. And last but not least, head over to my Patreon, which is patreon.com slash bethroars, where you can get some exclusive content, you can get early access to my podcast, and you can also check out and find out a little bit more about my scholarship funds. This one has been asked for by loads of you guys. His voice is real interesting it's anthony green but he has been in loads and loads of bands but this one is circa survive let's listen i can't get started from the part where i left off so high yesterday should have spent my time a little wiser Just so consistently high and I have to say a lot of us are like we want to sing like that but partially it's just the way he is set up and that's okay that means that we have to love our voice for what it is but you know we can still sing high notes but also things like when he sings lower probably won't sound as good but he is kind of just set up crazy. He kind of reminds me a little bit of um, the guy from Greta Van Fleet in terms of tone. A lot of nasal resonance. God, he's a tenor and a half. So you can hear it's really really in this place really eh and that's what's keeping it solid and strong you've got to be careful about how much air pressure you're putting through it's more about placing that resonance and he's doing a lot of kind of tense looking things i hope that that is a um, more performance rather than actual tension let's look a bit further it is so high though i wonder if he speaks like this Someone send me a clip of him speaking so I can hear it. So interesting, it's so bass heavy as well. But you can see a little bit of jaw tension. So some people get this thing where it kind of goes sideways, like ugh. And um, I would just watch out for that for yourself. If you're getting that, that can really hinder you. It's not always the easiest thing. It, it can get in the way. It can cause you to not be able to get these notes. Obviously for him, it seems to be fine. But for a lot of people, it's an issue, jaw tension. So go check it out. But then here, on these notes, he's fine too. Young boy singing metal. It reminds me of the musical Spring Awakening. Like teenage. Wow. That sounds terrifying. I would have to talk to my good friend at Voice Hacks to see if that is actually a healthy spring. Because it sounds so high because of me. So he's doing a mix. He's not in his head voice. He's not in falsetto. I've seen people being like, he's in falsetto. Falsetto is really like hooty sounding. You'll be like, it's not that. It's not in a heavy pushed chest voice. It's 
ram, bam, in the middle, this mixed place halfway between head and chest wise, although it is very head heavy. So it has got that lighter feel because it has to be this high and it's so consistent. <laughs> Baby crying. Yeah. Oh my god, he just screamed his headphones off. It is like a baby. Yeah. <laughs> his voice like so confuses my head. Cause it is so high this screen. Uh. And he's just getting his coffee, it's fine. He can sing hi. Well, that guy's voice is crazy. It's so mental. Like, uh, it's like within, it's my range. <laughs> and I am a lady, uh, but it's so cool. I totally get why people like this, because it is like, bam. I think it'd be so interesting to see him live. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.